When it comes to sharpening, there's a lot of commercial grade sharpeners out there with the buzzing and you put the thing in there. And they seem to work okay, but the real pros, party boat mates who are experts at filleting fish and guys like Artie who've been cutting for 35 years here at the South Shore Fish Market, you like the old oil or water stone. Right. With this, a is an aluminum, angle. this is an aluminum oxide stone, oh, really? actually. actually okay. And uh, it has a, a fine side and a right. coarse side. And, and if you, you know, if your knife edge is in uh, bad condition, you want to, of course, use the, the coarse side first right. and then finish it off on the smooth side. You can add a little water onto the stone, uh, uh, just as somewhat of a lubricant. It right. is a water stone. And, uh, you know, at the, end, at the end of the sharpening process, you should have a pretty good edge. And the old times used to use the oil stones. My grandfather oh, had yeah. the oil stone. Uh, yep. And also in my neighborhood, I still have the guy in the green truck with the ding, ding, ding bell. And every once in a while, once or twice a year, I give him my knives. And he puts a phenomenal edge on it. It's which is which is key, but also make sure you get to the back of the party boat and watch the mates fillet, because watching somebody do it is the best practice for really getting visual tips on it. It's funny too, but getting back to the edge, when you have your own personal knife and you put your own personal bevel on the right. edge, um, that's what works for you. So uh, you know, people are going to have to get used to doing that. You know, I mean, uh, you know, keeping an edge and what works for them, and. Uh, you know, that's that's really the way to go, you know. No, how would you go about actually doing that, Artie? Just well, on a dry run here. You know, bas basically, uh, you would um, start with an action towards you like this. Right. And then you go away like that. I mean, everybody has different methods of doing it. But when the knife has got a real sharp edge, right. it sort of sings on a stone. You, you, <laughs> you can, can hear you it. You can hear it. That's like, right. You hear that? That's right. That doesn't sound too bad. That's not a bad knife there. Uh, that, that's, a, that's a razor blade. You could shave with that. Now remember, more accidents happen with dull knives than sharp knives, so keep an edge on your knife.